the last two days we've been doing a staff ride to the Gettysburg Battlefield, a kind of case study that's done on the ground. This is completely interactive. Uh, everybody has a role to play. They're, we're all participants. These are all collective discussions. The idea here really is to study decision making and it's to, to put students in the position where they have to think about the decisions that someone else made as if they were that person and to really kind of get inside their skins. It's very easy as an historian um, to be quite critical of the decisions that people make because you know how it all turned out. What this technique does is it makes you get inside the decision making before you see the consequences of it. And so you really live it and the result is you're learning in a very different way. I'm Colonel Edward Porter Alexander. My role is uh, basically to start a cannonade preceding uh, Pickett's infamous charge. And most importantly what I feel that I'm, that I'm learning in these past two days is to use intellectual relativity when uh, judging the decisions of others, understanding that a decision is uh, in the moment cannot uh, ever be as rational as uh, when it is observed in, in hindsight. We're not just looking at the most senior military leaders, we're looking at people who are privates, we're looking at uh, civilians, we're looking at journalists. Uh, and so we're really trying to explore the phenomenon of, of war from a, a number of different perspectives. Some of us have ancestors who fought in the war, so I saw the monument for my ancestor, my great-great-great-grandfather who fought in the war today. It's been a really powerful experience to think about the motivations of the people involved and what it really means, and you know, it's part of our heritage. And also, I've um, learned a lot on this trip of how much has not changed in terms of like a lot of the same things that were going on during this wartime are similar things that have happened in wars in the future. So it's been interesting to see those patterns. My students have gone on to all kinds of leadership positions, in, mainly in the civilian world, in government, uh, in the business world, uh, certainly in the military, in intelligence. and. They come back and say, this experience is the one that they really remember and cherish from SICE because it got them thinking in ways that they never had before. I've been a student of the uh, military history in general and the American Civil War in particular uh, for my entire life. But I think the value of the staff ride is that it lets you better understand uh, you know, the decisions that were made by the participants at the context of the time and the place in which those decisions were made. I mean, you often read that you know, so and so general did action X and it was a terrible mistake and you know it cost him the battle and the war. But what you often don't understand is why he did that. And when you go to the place where that decision was made, you see what the general saw at the time and you know sort of put yourself in that person's shoes. It's a lot easier to understand what happened and why. Uh, we couldn't do this without philanthropic support. Uh, but we've gotten some support from alumni. We've had some very generous donors who've stepped in in uh, various ways. Uh, but we definitely need the support, and we're very grateful for the support we've gotten. There's no question in my mind that part of the, the mission of SICE is to prepare leaders in international relations. And I believe the staff ride gives them an opportunity to think through leadership that, to my mind, is unparalleled.